I don't know what they're doing here. Kind of looks like a Indian version of uh, Chinese New Year. Lots of people standing in line for this uh, food. I'm not even sure what they're selling. Oh yeah, there's a girl. It looks good. All right. Yeah. That would bother land. Incense galore. Well, here we go. Here's the source of the noise. Or music, I guess I should say. We got incense and all these baskets. This guy's got a duck. I'm gonna go in here. I don't see anybody removing their shoes, so I'm gonna assume that. Boy, all this food and stuff, food and flowers. The guy tending to the incense. I guess all this goes to the monks. The gods like Santa Strawberry. ถ้าใจเจอกุญแจรถก่อนนะคะ a busy Wow. Just never know what you're going to run across here in Bangkok. Here's some tourists. And that's the main road going down to Putnam Market. This is the uh, Indian part of Bangkok. It's called Indra Square. The centerpiece, the centerpiece is this hotel called Bayoki Tower. It's uh, one of the bigger buildings around. Well, I think there are 
Avioki Sky Hotel. No man's land. I wonder what the hell that is. Alright, I gotta go figure out what this is. No man's land. Oh. Oh. Well, they got bread and bongs. That's what they should call it. Oh, yeah. There you go. I knew it. I knew it sounded too vague. It's a pot shop with food. Great combination. All right. Another pot shop. There's some sort of Disney wholesale store. I don't know. I doubt it's legitimate. And then again, I don't know. Maybe. I've actually come down here to find this Indian restaurant that I have not been able to. I was here, but I didn't get the name of it, and I wanted to order online. And that's it. Right there. Corona Inn. Ah. Indian Spices Restaurant. That's what it's called. Indian Spices Restaurant. And here's another one. This used to be a grocery store, an Indian grocery store, but COVID killed it. All right. So we're going to walk back up here and uh, see what we're doing. When Lynn and I first got here, uh, this place was desolate. I mean, it looked like a ghost town. There were a few things open and, uh, hey, watch it. These people back right into you. They don't even look. You gotta defend yourself. I usually carry my air horn. That wakes them up. There's not really a rhythm to that particular beating. It's just beat on it and keep beating on it. So, this is the other side of the building. This mall here is called Indra Square. It's a huge, huge mall. And it's all Indians. It's like some of the other malls. I mean, they sell tennis shoes and clothing and electronics and stuff like that. But this has all been closed. Just dead. There used to be a pretty good noodle place here. Oh, Hong Kong noodle. And uh, more Indian restaurants. I like Indian food, but as I've gotten older, it's uh, 
I got to eat it earlier in the day. But I love the breads. Puri and naan. Oh, poor thing here. The problem with a lot of this, these places is that, and this is just my personal taste, I, I'm not a vegetarian. Um, so a lot of these are totally totally vegan, vegetarian, which is fine. I've eaten Indian food, but you know, sometimes I want a little chicken on there or something. And they don't, they don't do a lot of this stuff. All right, well, it's too bad that uh, Hong Kong noodle place is no longer here. So this is my spontaneous tour of Indra Square a little area of Bangkok, not too far from where I live. Very walkable. In fact, that's what I'm doing today. There are some signs over there. No carts. None of those Chinese carry basket things. Now, I might stop and get some soup here. One of my favorite soup places along here. Beef soup. Which is unusual. And, uh, tastes pretty good, actually. Nah, I'm gonna skip it. Because if I eat that, oh, there's another Bon Me place. Oh, this is the one I stopped at. Yeah. The banh mi was not all that great. All right. But anyway, the tour of the Indian Chinese New Year. Bill Kirk and Mar. Fat and bald and bang pot. And I hope you're having a nice day. I've shared part of mine with you. Take care.